When we design coatings, we need to understand the environment that they're going to be in. All the test equipment you see here tries to replicate that as closely as possible and to accelerate it so that we can design a coating that's going to be UV durable, hold color, hold gloss, prevent corrosion, and prevent any humidity damage. So we spend years researching resins, which are the backbone of coatings, and then how those resins can be put together with the rest of the coating from pigments to additives to solvents. So one, it has to perform, and two, it has to be easy to apply and fit your process so that you're not spending extra time repairing your vehicle. There's a number, way, a number of ways to test for environmental factors. One is real world exposure. We can send panels down to South Florida with some of the harshest UV rays around. We put them out on a fence for six, 12, three years, five years, then we bring them back and see what kind of damage is done. This is the longest test, but it's the most accurate. Then we have specific bulbs from xenon to QV bulbs that also replicate sunlight and make it a little more intense to make that process shorter. Those are two ways to test UV. From a corrosion standpoint, we do have the old school salt fog test, but we like to push customers and our products to make sure they're testing to cyclical corrosion. It's a rather new test that encompasses the entire system of UV, moisture, and salt. It's really what your units see every day and it's what we test for and what we design our products for. What we would do is we take a properly prepared panel and we scribe it so we create a defect for moisture and salt to penetrate. Then we place it in equipment that will replicate the UV exposure going through moist cycles and dry cycles, light cycles and dark. We then take it out and put it into the corrosion chamber which it too goes from dry to salty to humid. It's a complete mixture of all the elements that your fleet's gonna see in any given year.